Right, well here we go with painting a German Nebelwerfer for um, bolt action. Um, the crew have all been uh, primed in black and uh, the Nebelwerfer itself actually. Um, I've actually got a bit ahead of myself as after priming with um, army painter uh, Skeleton Bone I've already given it a, an initial coat of Agaros Dunes, the uh, contrast, contrast paint from Games Workshop. Um, but I'll put that to one side for a minute whilst I work on the uh, on the crew. But here we go, this is the uh, first stages here. And here we are at the next stage. The crewmen have all been given a good heavy dry brushing of uh, Vallejo's Burnt Umber. Let's just have a look at this chap here. Yes, there we go. Provides a good base for uh, stuff going on on top. And the next stage, the uh, crewmen have um, all been given quite a, a reasonably heavy dry brush of uh, Vallejo Field Grey, um, leaving some of the black primer and um, heavy brown coat underneath showing through in a little bit. There we go, that's the next stage. Going closer on top of these, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. And here we are with the next stage. Jackets or trousers or, or both that are going to have camo applied to it have all had a coat of Vallejo German camo pale brown. Next, the helmets have all had a quick coat of Vallejo dark sea green. Yeah, I know it says dark sea green, but it looks great, doesn't it? But what the hell? That's the colour. It looks okay. Well, the next stage of painting on the um, areas that were painted um, German camo light brown, um, camouflage is starting to take shape where um, some patches of uh, Vallejo Russian green. I normally use Vallejo Russian uniform actually, but I picked up the wrong bottle by mistake, but it's done a good job. Um, yeah, patches of Vallejo Russian green with small blobs of Vallejo olive green on top on their own butts. I mean, that's where we are. And a few smaller bits of detail have been applied now. Um, <clears throat> the braces on this guy's uh, trousers, done with khaki, as have been the um, two chaps here carrying ammunition for the Nebelwerfer. The ammunition or ammunition cases have been curled in khaki. And then on the backs of the these two on the end here, the standard sort of German military equipment. The um, <coughs> brown parts of the bottle there have been done in Vallejo flat brown, and uh, the bread bag done in green ochre, and uh, Russian green for the gas mask canister. And uh, boots and belts have been given a coat of uh, Vallejo black grey. Next stage, and you can see that um, all the flesh areas have been given a coat of flesh using the Citadel Cadian Flesh Tone. Not much left now. And the crewmen have all had a relatively liberal wash of Agrax Earthshade that itself was slightly thinned with um, some Lamia Medium. Uh, getting ready to wash that dries. Let's turn our attentions back to the Nebel Verfer itself which as you can see, the tyres had a coat of Vallejo Black Grey. Now I'll get some contrast paints out to provide a bit of camouflage on the Nebelwerfer to match German vehicles of the uh, same period. And we'll come back shortly. Okay, back once again to the Nebelwerfer itself. And as you can see, I've applied some camo to the uh, main part of the model using <clears throat> Creed Camo and Wildwood, two contrast paints from Citadel. And um, and just to recap, um, the model itself was primed with some army painter skeleton bone over which Agaros Dunes contrast was applied and the tyres were given a coat of um, black grey from Vallejo. And there we are. The um, <coughs> crew have had their uh, camo touched up by um, having the olive green, the lighter of the two greens, 
um, touched up over the dark green and a couple of spots here and there of camo added. So the net effect is it ends up being a bit of a bastard child of the spring oak leaf camo pattern and the peadot camo pattern, but you know, on a 28 mil miniature, <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as it looks the part. So there they all are, ready to be glued to the base and have some basing uh, added. Right, there we go with you all glued on. <clears throat> Base edges um, painted as well. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get some texture on. Right, base texture added. Now it's time to add some static grass and mud and tucks and things. So let's crack on. And there we go, all done. Not prize-winning painting by any stretch of the imagination, but it does the job. And. Uh, and I like it, so that's the main thing. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching. To all those who have uh, popped my teeth in, subscribed recently, thank you very much. And uh, I shall be back with more bolt action and other content very soon. <laughs>